Hello there, this is Oliver Dylan Stout, and right now we are looking at the SGD-161 assignment, um, the storyboard for the ball bounce. Alright, so um, this one should be pretty short. I do have a layer for notations, and this is going to involve scene, panel, page, and action adjustments. I was not able to think of ways to use the other ones. I suppose the one thing I am missing is having um, the dotted line to indicate um, the cutoff point for certain um, resolution sizes. So um, other than that, the ball bounce assignment, we're going to have our crest, um, our first and our fourth image are going to be duplicates of each other. This little U shape is going to indicate to the viewer that they are getting at the crest and we are not going past the um, point in vertical height or Y axis right there. Um, we've got scene one, panel one, and page four. Really the only thing out of the top three notations is going to be the page getting adjusted from one, two, three, and four. And then our action is just going to be describing what's going on with the ball as it bounces. So we're um, preparing to gain momentum before dropping in our first panel. In our second panel, we're going to be having our initial squa uh, squash. Um, you're going to see on the side the speed changing from times one to times two times three times four it's not exact but it is generally what's going on here um, so that we know about how many frames to give um, the next few sections um, from there uh, we're also going to show the squash width um, just to give our animators an idea and we're also on the third page going to show the stretch height uh, the speed is a repeat just um, Whenever you hit the ground, whenever we're closest to the ground, either dropping or lifting, we're going to be going our fastest speed. Um, so this says after squashing, the ball begins to stretch its momentum while um, will be fast as it reacts to hitting the ground. Momentum will decrease as gravity's impact shows its or slows its upward energy. All right, so we are basically mimicking physics with these three. And then four, we just make sure this is an exact duplicate. You can control C, control V, make sure you paste special in place if needed. Um, and yeah, this one should loop fine for us. So if we open up the loop, um, yeah, it's a little bit too much for our eyes to grasp, but it is looking the way we want it to. So this was our storyboard for the ball bounce assignment.